at all. It's just terrible tasting. The wheat just doesn't even taste like wheat. The meat is processed and some of the meat's probably not even meat. Nasty. Needs more seasoning. I've never eaten this school's lunch before, but I do from, from time to time, at least when I, when I saw an island before I saw a Foki, um, students would come and eat in my classroom. And um, I know that my students were, were often not pleased with the quality of the food they got. Um, I think it's actually pretty tasty, and I like the healthy options that they have. The they've got lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. It's good sometimes, but it tastes really fake. Some days are really good, and some days really uh, inhale profusely. It's <laughs> a nice way of saying it. I don't agree with her plan on anything, especially when it comes to school lunches and sodas, because a lot of people are very agitated that we don't get our regular sodas, we get diet sodas. Then with the lunches, they're worse because they're not as healthy, or they're healthier for us, but a lot of people just hate how they taste, and they're crappy tasting. Uh, yes and no. Yes, because we need to make America healthier and for the kids to be healthier. But the way that we're preparing it and shocking the whole entire system of, you know, from unhealthy to healthy is just a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, I think that childhood obesity is a huge problem in this country, not, not to play around with words. It, the obesity rate, something needs to be done about it. We'd be happier if we were healthier. And I think that if you, anything you can do to get people to, to eat healthier is good. The, the problem that I see is that Michelle Obama has done a really great job of arguing for healthier school lunches. The problem is that local school districts don't always have the money or the will to pay for better food. And, and so that, you know, that idealism that comes from Popeye does not always trickle down. And that's, that's really where the problem is. And it'd be interesting if Michelle Obama said, we're going to provide matching funding for it that, that would lead districts like Pocatello School District 25 to, to have the money to pay for better, better quality food. Actually, yes, I do, because I think that there are some students who don't get the nutrition that they need at home, and so if they're getting it at school, it's a positive thing. I don't know. It just depends. Like, I don't know. <laughs> She's starving you guys to death, right? High school kids are getting fed the same amount as elementary. Problem. Uh, somehow try to make it better, or somehow maybe put a little more money into the food so it can be prepared better. At least something like that. I have to say, change everything about what she wants to do, really, to make it better in any way. Put seasoning on the foods. I mean, we, don't, we don't give any kind of executive or legislative authority to first ladies. They're not elected. They're, they're only in a position of, of influence because a first spouse is only in a position of influence because their, their spouse has been elected president. I think it would be really interesting if, if Michelle Obama were to run for Senate or to run for president herself, then we should hold her to her ideals. But, but you know, first ladies, since, since, gosh, I don't know, I don't know who was the first lady to really take a stance on social issues, but, you know, we don't hold Betty Ford accountable for rates of alcoholism. We don't hold Laura Bush accountable for, for Literacy rates, I don't know why we should hold Michelle Obama accountable for quality of school lunches. She has no power to change things, she can only inspire. 
probably make it less processed and gross and make it taste good, I guess. More nutritious. I don't know. Bring back dessert. Okay, that would be great. Bring back dessert. Um, try and take a poll of the kids of what they want to eat instead of just serving whatever's on the menu. Thank you.